Here in the tail of the tape, we see they are nearly identical in every area, the same age, both 20 years young, and Sebastian will have a 1.5 inch reach advantage. Once again, Brian Wood. Bout number six is brought to you by Fistful of Bourbon, created with over 100 years of whiskey blending experience. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jonah Andrews. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sebastian Abando. Oh, baby, let's go. I expect fireworks here. I've trained with both these guys. Sebastian coming out of Peru, both 20 years young. Jonah, a great wrestler, wrestled in high school all four years. Sebastian had his first MMA fight at 15, which is legal in Peru somehow. I'm not questioning it. I'm very excited for this fight. Round number one. Tonight's fight clock is presented by Hoy Excavating. Black and gold trunks for Jonah Andrew. Black and tan trunks for the Peruvian Sebastiano Bondo. Trading spinning back kicks, not something you see uh, very often being traded. Faint on the switch kick, on the body kick, looking for the takedown. Nicely defended by Jonah Andrews. So Bondo You're coming so in hard. So it looks hey, like Sebastian was hurt by that up. knee there. Stand it was up. strange to see Sebastian initiate the, the grappling uh, and, and Jonah, who's the more credentialed uh, wrestler. And it looked like Sebastian was hurt to the body there with the knee. Bando looking leg lock. You see great vining through now. Left hands from Jonah Andrews. Fishing for the heel hook is Obando. And, and as an amateur, what's the oh big up kick for for leg locks? What 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 exactly can you and can't you do? State to state, if we were across the state line in Kansas, no twisting leg locks for Andy's. No such rule in MMA for Missouri at the amateur level. So you can heel hook, twisting leg locks, as you see Obando doing there. I, I like that. I, if you can kick someone across the face, I don't see why you can't go for a heel hook or a toe hold or some sort of leg lock. See, with the knee shield on the body from Jonah Andrews, and those are big hammer fists landing from Jonah Andrews. Left to the body, left to the head. Fully agreed on that, Jeff. Jonah staying active on top. I, I want to see Sebastian start, start to create space here. He has his legs intertwined. Let's use that to create space. Let's use these submission attempts to create space. To your point, in my opinion, hey, amateur MMA body, is to train fighters to become professionals go. in this great Body's sport. So why Jonah. not let them experience everything? Oh, Agreed. Low, yeah, low. it's the best way to get ready for the job it, it, is to, to treat it very similar to the job you want. Looking on for now is Obama. Good submission awareness from Andrews. Good defense, pulling his arm free. Sebastian waving him in to, to, to grapple, but you lose the fight if you're on bottom. So he had a, he had a moment there. He could have got up and, and chose to stand his back. Shades of the Brazilian, the great minute, Fabricio Verdum, flat on his back, waving his opponent forward. Now diving in is Jonah Andrews into the open guard of Obando. Unless you're some sort of jiu-jitsu wizard specialist, which I can count less than a handful of MMA. I'm thinking Damian Maez, I'm thinking Fabricio Verdum's, Ryan Hall's. I, I don't like this. I I'd rather get up to a neutral position and fight from there. Sliding through is Andrews. You gotta earn that privilege to wave someone into your guard. Andrews from side control with 25 seconds remaining, round number one. Fishing for the arm bar there. Again, good submission awareness and defense from Andrews. Arm bar attempt once more for Sebastiano Bondo. I would love to see him use that to create a scramble. Use that to get to a single leg. Use that to push him to the fence. Short right hand, there's the up, up kick. kick. That's uh, illegal close. there because Jonah did have his knee. It was considered a, a grounded opponent. You cannot up kick a grounded opponent. There was a soft warning from Mike England. It wasn't full extension on the kick, and that ends round number one. See Tyler Rowe in the corner of Jonah Andrews. Our fight replays are presented by Major Pack. Stern warning by Monkey England there. Sebastian uh, doesn't speak the best of English. Again, uh, coming from Peru, doing a training camp here at Glory, letting him know that it sounded like you said you cannot grab the ankles, and obviously the upkick is illegal. Warned him about the upkick. Um, curious to see what he said about the ankles. Be sure to check out MMA Futures live schedule, set of their upcoming events. Next up, August 20th, we will be in Omaha, Nebraska for Dynasty Combat Sports, featuring four title fights exclusively on MMA Futures. And you are with us on MMA Futures for the FAC.
Amy undercard. Top of the hour following this fight, our main card begins live worldwide on UFC Fight Pass. To round number two. The very talented amateur, 125 pounds. Let's get up here. That's what I would do if I'm on my back after missing a kick. Let's get up. Jonah Andrews versus Sebastian Obando. Hard outside kick. Big Obando's welts on the leg of Sebastian there. You see on his lead leg. Andrews allowing Obando to stand. And through with the right to the body from Andrews. I am fluent in Spanish, and I've overheard uh, Sebastian's corner saying, do not engage in the wrestling. Do not engage in the wrestling. Walk on the head kick, spinning back kick, nothing there. To the inside, knee from Andrews. A lot of flash, though, in the striking of Sebastiano Bando. Kick not there. 2 10 remaining, round number two. Superman said low kick. On the Superman punch indeed from Joan Andrews. G GSP made a career out of that. Hey, Superman to low kick. Jump it. Now. Off the left jab from Abando. Sebastian needs to find an answer for those low kicks. Those will add up, and then we see the change stance because of those. Those are already taking effect. You can see the bit, the welts on, on Sebastian's legs. That was audacious entry on the left uppercut for Joan Andrews, and it landed. Now lead left hook for Andrews. It's already hindering the, the movement of Sebastian. He's moving a lot less. And here we see him initiate the wrestling, which is his corner advised him not to. Looking Switch to the arm bar. Again is Obando. Oh. That is tight, and Andrews pulling his, head, his arm free. Well done. Once you're able to pull it past that groin, uh, Crease, you're, you're, you're safe. But it's, it's when it's past the groin that, that your elbow joint's in jeopardy. Good on Jonah to, to, to pull it out, especially when you're sweaty. It becomes just a little bit easier. Short on the hammer fist. See the leg entanglement, Obando trying to stay active on the bottom when we've already seen him hunt for heel hooks and ankle walks here in round number one, or rather in round number one. 50 seconds now remaining here in round number two. Big hammer fist to the body from Jonah Andrews. Left to the head, another left to the head. Jonah staying active on top with these hammer fists. Sebastian once again fishing for the ankles, trying to look for some sort of a heel hook or inversion, but just not having any success. Obando's definitely not accepting bottom position, rolling through, possibly looking knee bar. Amber Fist again from Joan Andrews, cool as you like. These inversions have to be quick. You cannot, you cannot stall in this position. You, you, got, you got a guy on top of you that can punch you, and uh, you can't elbow as an amateur, but can just land big shots, hammer fists. Uh, you can get struck from, from, from that top position, so it's not a position I would hang out in too long. The turn from Andrews extricates himself just before the bell that ends round number two. Sebastian grabbing his ankle. It is taped up. It makes me think something's going on with that ankle. Maybe before the fight or, or during the fight, something happened. Here we see Sebastian Fish for an armbar on the replay. Jonah gets it out. And then Sebastian kind of just spent the, the, the rest of uh, the round on his back, and, and Jonah was, was able to, to stay calm and compose and land some decent ground and pound. Tonight's fight replays are presented by Major Pack. You got to think Sebastian is, uh, is down 2-0. Uh, let's see if he has some sense of urgency to, to try to win this fight. Set for the third and final round. Ten minutes from now, our main card begins, FAC 15. Live worldwide on UFC Fight Pass. You're with us on MMA Futures. Big spinning spin back, back fist. fist lands from Jonah Andrews. And, and the setup to that was kind of, kind of interesting and, and high level. Uh, Jonah has been landing low kicks all fight. He gave a small look down like he was going to throw a low kick and then span off it and landed the spinning back fist. To the clinch comes the Peruvian Sebastian Obando. Good turn from the fighter from nearby Kansas City, Kansas. Jonah Andrews on the takedown. Sebastian pulling guard there. Interesting move to, to know that he's been controlled from that top position and decides to pull guard. Jonah 
sliding through that through that guard once again, doing a little knee staple and, and finds himself in this staple slash half guard position. See the lockdown of Obando's left knee by Jonah Andrews. Educated top game from Jonah Andrews in this is eighth AMI MMA bout. 155 remaining third and final round. Dan Andrews backing off, allowing Obando to stand. Mike England telling Sebastian Obando to get off of the canvas. Outside kick lands from Jonah Andrews. This is with his second outside kick. Resets. Again, the entry on the outside low kick left hook. Counter head kick coming back from Sebastian Obando looking for the takedown. Interesting from, from both fighters. Jonah inviting the stand up, which is what Sebastian is known for, is his kickboxing. And the amount of success Jonah had on top, you would think he'd, that's where the, he'd want to keep the fight. And then interesting on Sebastian's side, he just initiated the grappling against the guy that's been out wrestling him for two rounds. That half Superman punch again from Jonah Andrews. Looking for the head kick. Looks like that ankle just gave out on Sebastian. Again, Obando trying to wave Andrews in. Andrews not obliging. Very old school from the 20 year old Sebastian Obando. On his back, hands behind his head. And now being ordered to stand up as Sebastian Obando from referee Mike Ingram with a chorus of boos from this Independence Missouri crowd. Big hook landed right on the button. Jonah showing off that he's not he's not one one faceted. He, he's good in all areas. His stand-ups look clean today, landing kicks, spinning back fist, big hooks. Diversion on the punch to the thigh, then the head kick slick from Jonah Andrews. Obando taking himself to the ground again. Big hammer fist to the body. Thudding shots from Andrews. That oh, is it. TKO win for Jonah Andrews. Wow. Very impressive showing by, by Jonah Andrews. Wow. Here in the replay, we see a big check hook land right on the chin. Here's the finish. He goes body shot, and Sebastian just kind of crumbles off that body shot. Goes down, and it was that was all she wrote. Mikey England steps in, doesn't like what he's seeing. Big hammer fist, and just uh, Sebastian is defending. He has his arms up, but he's not looking to improve the position. And, and England has no choice but to step in and stop the fight. Good refereeing from Mike England, and again the threshold of when you stop a fight very different from the Amis to the pros. Those are unfettered, unanswered big shots from Jonah Andrews. Yeah, and rightfully so. That it should be that way. Amateurs should get some sort of discretion. That they're they're wanting to be professionals one day. Let's uh, save that damage for, for later on, uh, if need be. Let's let's warn on the side of caution. Uh, again, beautiful performance by Jonah Andrews. I'm very impressed with this kid at 20 years old. Wrestling looked great. Striking looked great. He, he's training at a good camp. I, I'm excited for his future. Jonah Andrews now five and three. Eight total fights now for the 20-year-old in AMI MMA. Sebastian Obando, the 20-year-old from Lima, Peru, is definitely talented, drops a six and two in his AMI MMA career. He is, and kudos to, to this kid, man. He trains so hard. I have the privilege of training side by side with him, and, and he upped to move his life from Peru to do a camp out here. He's been out here before. He left everything at home, 20 years old, trained super hard, and uh, I'm just glad to see he's up and walking. Our winner announcement is presented by Fistful of Bourbon. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is ended at 2 minutes and 42 seconds of the third round. Your winner by TKO due to strikes out of the blue corner, Jonah Andrews. Smile from the victor, Jonah Andrews. Sebastian Obando, very clever with his bottom game, Jeff, against a lesser opponent. He might find some subs, but Andrews, very composed, very poised with his top game. Jonah showed great top, top pressure. He, he knew when to, to staple through. He knew when to, to apply weight to the legs to make sure no leg locks could happen and, and, and made, made Sebastian pay for those inversions. Big round and pound was landed and just a beautiful TKO finish for Jonah Andrews. The winner by way of third round TKO, Jonah Andrews defeats Sebastian Obando.